Alignment tools are another way to make your worksheet more attractive and readable. Let's have a look at a few key tools, including alignment, text wrapping and cell merging. To align data within a worksheet, select the cells you want to adjust and then use the command in the alignment group of the Home tab. The top row of options control vertical alignment, while the bottom row controls horizontal alignment. The indent commands in the alignment group of the Home tab allow you to adjust the space between a cell border and its contents. For example, if the contents of a cell are left aligned, clicking Increase Indent right arrow will increase the space between the contents and the left border. Similarly, clicking Decrease Indent left arrow will decrease that space. When you enter text into a cell and that text exceeds the cell's dimensions, the contents will continue and overlap to the next cell if it contains no data. If the neighboring cell does contain data, the content will be truncated and hidden, although the full text will be displayed in the formula bar. Clicking Wrap Text with the cell selected will adjust the row height to accommodate overlapping text. Wrap Text can be removed by clicking Wrap Text again. When you use Wrap Text on a cell, it makes the whole row deeper. You can achieve the same effect using manual line breaks. To add a manual line break to a cell, press Alt and Enter at the desired break location when editing the contents. Occasionally, you may need a long cell for a heading, or you may need to resize columns or rows so that longer items can be displayed. The Merge and Center options allow you to select a group of cells either across a row or down a column and combine them to form one large cell. To do this, select a group of adjacent cells and click Merge and Center. You can see that now the two cells look like a single cell with the text centered. If you have a heading centered over a block of data and new columns of information are added, the heading will no longer look correctly centered. The solution is to simply click on the merged heading. Select Merge and Center and turn off. Now highlight the extended area and click on Merge and Center again and that's it. Please note that you can access a few more options from the Merge and Center drop-down menu.